Well, before I share how Archaeologic is using Retool, I'd like to share a little bit about Archaeologic. So first of all, we're a pretty small remote first company, and we're trying to tackle the big problem of making building information accessible to everyone. We have a web-based uh, platform that empowers our customers by providing structural spatial information for interior space. So we have some customers who use IoT and they combine that information and they can visually express what meeting room is available, what desk is available. Some other customers use it to make decisions on how quickly they need to reset a space to make COVID compliance. And because we built the underlying spatial structure, we can generate highly detailed 3D models of a space really quickly. So this can help um, sales teams do virtual tours of a space. It can help design teams understand how that space is going to feel, maybe doing test fits or layouts, which is pretty big in the design industry, all using a web-based platform. And the process to get to that state is fairly simple. You send us a plan, we convert it, and you have your model back within a couple days. It's pretty simple and fast. However, when you have questions about the volume of orders or maybe how many models sit in which folders in what city, uh, maybe how old the models are, maybe you wanna know internally which models take, took longer to convert, that process really wasn't very straightforward. And getting those answers were pretty complex. Our process prior to Retool kind of looked like this. Someone would do a SQL query, drop it down into a CSV file, import it into our favorite spreadsheet, pivot, add some color, deliver it to the customer, and usually, or deliver it to whoever asked for it. And usually one question led to two questions, or very rarely was the first query we ran proper. In fact, many times we ended up with multiple spreadsheets or, or tabs inside of sheets and Sometimes even that information conflicted with itself and trying to trace down where that error was or how you came to that query just became almost impossible. And that's kind of where we got introduced to Retool. Uh, I was looking for a simpler way to tackle BI reporting. I needed a tool to gain visibility into our production process. And I signed up for an account. And within about a couple hours, I was able to connect our database and easily put a chart together. Prior to this, I didn't write much code. I wasn't very well versed in how to make SQL queries, but I knew I had a, a static query that worked pretty good and I was able to put this dashboard together. And this chart gave us visual confirmation that every other week was indeed busier than the previous week. So I was really excited about that, which led into the wild, wild west where we started making uh, apps for everything. Uh, we displayed everything. One app had maybe 60 unique queries inside of it. And the old issue of competing dashboards and competing data started to find its way back into this new tool. We were able to remedy that really quickly by using the centralized query library inside of Retool, which we love. So now we can have one of our data engineers write a query, introduce variables so we can make that query dynamic and usable by anyone in the company. And now with the new version control inside of the library, we're able to test uh, new queries without affecting production or customer applications. Here's a copy of one of the customer applications we use to display some of our customer data. It's dynamic to the customer's needs, so only their data is displayed. But the logic that drives all this reporting is stable and it's run from that centralized query, which is very nice. And we're starting to learn how to use the, the transformers built into Retool to really make one query display more information that's more relevant. And that's something new that we've been testing. Our conversion team now can actually run one single dashboard that displays the number of orders that we've received, how long the orders are taking, where they're getting stuck in the process. Used to run this in multiple spreadsheets. We no longer use spreadsheets. And because of that, we have time to focus on ways to delight our customers and speed up our conversion process. So what's next? Well, our development team just released a major update on our space API. And we've been playing around with how we integrate that into Retool. Our customer success team is excited to build POCs to demonstrate how uh, a customer's data coupled with our space API in Retool will give them a quick way to deploy solutions. We're also developing an application for our support team so they can get their ticket information and our order information into the same window. So they're focused on a singular tool, no more swivel chair between apps. And then lastly, we're gonna to try to focus on branding and cleaning it up, making it look polished. So Retool has really empowered us in a lot of ways we didn't think was possible. And uh, we've been very happy with the application. Thank you.